Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a 6 months usage review of my beloved HMT Kohinoor yellow dial watch. This is quite a rare watch among the HMT watch enthusiasts. It is much sought after in the HMT community. I had ordered this watch on 31st of October 2023 and received it via speed post around 7 to 10 days later. I had made a video too when I received the watch. I shall be leaving the link in description for you guys. So in this video I am sharing my 6 months experience with this amazing watch. To begin with I have been wearing it daily to my office since November 2023. In my view this is a sturdy watch can absorb minor shocks to it seamlessly. There have been small incidents of clashing of my left hand against the wall or other people while I was wearing it. Nothing has happened so far. This watch has been extremely accurate in timekeeping so far. I think I am lucky to have such accuracy. People say mechanical watches are often a few seconds slow or fast per day. But to my observation, my watch has kept time very accurately. The watch is said to have a water at resistance of 3 atmospheres or 30 meters which is quite low in the field. But my watch has endured a few splashes from rain or hand washing and it has been absolutely fine, no sign of water damage. The watch crystal is acrylic made so it has got quite a number of scratches on it during this period. The stainless steel case has been shiny and sturdy but it has got a few scratches too during my usage. The watch is very beautiful on the wrist. Let me give you a wrist shot of this watch. It has earned a few compliments too from my colleagues. Now let me cover some of the negative points about the watch. It has cost me around Rs 6580 or 79 US dollars including shipping from the house of HMT which is a decent price for a mechanical watch in the Indian market. I had expected some degree of quality control from HMT for the price but to my dismay something happened. Around a month back I noticed the loom at 2 o'clock position starting to fall off. I became very sad as I had not expected it to happen. You can see the condition that had happened on the screen. I have attached a picture of the same. A 6.5 thousand rupees watch with its loom falling off the dial within 6 months. That's not done HMT. Nevertheless I sent my watch to get it repaired. I was skeptic a bit as to what would happen if the original condition was not restored. But when I received it, the watch was just fine like before. You may ask your queries regarding repairs and all in the comment section. I shall try to reply accordingly. Coming back to the loom, I am attaching a loom shot of the watch which is pretty decent. Another negative point is that the crystal being acrylic picks up scratches very easily. As for the stainless steel strap, this is a stock strap which has been given by HMT itself. I find it decent and very comfortable too. It doesn't pick on your hairs in the wrist. During summer months, the sweat doesn't accumulate too much below the strap, so it's quite comfortable. I like to wear it a bit loose on my wrist, so it's all fine. The case size of the watch is around 40.9 mm in length and 31 mm in width, so it sits perfectly on my wrist. The strap width of the watch is around 18 mm and it has a clasp type lock mechanism, so it's quite easy to open or close. Although a few scratches have appeared on the strap due to 6 months usage, the rest is fine. Also I must mention that there is no sign of rusting either on the watch case or on the strap. 
This is the benefit of having a stainless steel watch body. It will remain the same for many years from now. Now let me show you the back of the watch. This is a pushback type case and it is fairly water resistant too. There is no sign of sweat marks or sweat damage on the back case. Now let's talk about the crown of the watch. It is quite smooth to wind up the crown as the dentation is quite big here. I didn't feel much pressure while winding up the watch. The watch has given me a charge backup of around 36 to 40 hours which is pretty decent. So I hope I have covered all the points regarding the review. I hope all of you like the video. Please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel for more such interesting content. Thank you guys. Have a good day.